when you feel like you've lost control of your business, you lost control of your freedom, and the thing that you once loved ends up being like this curse and you can't really like live your life because you're being pulled left and right and and working all these crazy hours to please everybody and you can no longer really enjoy what you do. This episode is a very important one, all right? And the subject is why and when do you fire clients, okay? Because you're gonna experience it, believe me. You're gonna experience it. You're gonna have clients that just don't work well together with you and in harmony. And um, I'm gonna give you a few pointers on how to really eliminate this from happening too often and that you can, that way you can build a business of clientele that really uh, work in harmony with you and your structure and how you run your business. What you wanna do is you wanna know the structure of your business, okay, and how it flows with your goals and your personal life early on, okay? The earlier you understand like, okay, you have something mapped out, okay, this is the life I wanna live, this is my goals, so I need to structure my business like this. That way it, I could do all these other things I wanna do, enjoy my life, build a life I want, reach my goals, and at the same time, give this great service in this barber industry and make good money doing it. Business, now, okay? Uh, the first thing to realize is that you can't please everybody and everybody's not your market, and everybody's not gonna fit into your business model, okay, perfectly. So I run my business, I don't let clients or other people run my business. And it could seem kind of like, you know, um, contradicting to like, you know, when you provide a service, but any barber that's been in the industry for a while knows exactly what I mean. Number one, just, just know that some things don't work together in harmony. Okay, that's just how things is. And um, what you want to early on in your career, you end up building a clientele base that understands that business structure. Like, okay, like I can't really have you as my barber because I need to be able to walk in anytime I want, or I need to be able to pay you extra to cut the line and, and cut in front of people. Like, I don't do that, you know? Often people are like, man, I give you this much more. You know, I give you this to just let me cut in front of everybody. So now I run my business. So they need a barber that runs his business like that. That way he can keep them happy. But as far as my business structure and the way I run it, it doesn't work with me. Okay, there's nothing right or wrong about it. It's just, it's just not the way I run my business. I mean, so um, it's really important that you pay attention to your clients' habits. That way you can weed out the ones that really just don't work well with your business model or just might have a lack of respect for what you do and your time, okay? I remember I had a client that just was always late or, or doing no call, no shows. And it was like, I looked at it one day and I was like, damn, like, I'm really losing more money than I make with this client. You know, and he's costing me time. And I value my time, like, very much. So I had to tell him, sir, that you keep them from happening. All right. But before you ever check one of your clients, right, or fire any of your clients, you always got to look at yourself first and say, you know, was I an example of how I really want to run my business? Am I an example of my structure and my model? Am I timely? You know, I can't get on my clients for being late and doing no call, no shows. If I'm, you know, constantly running behind and my schedule's crazy and I'm having them wait an hour, hour and a half, two hours after their appointment time, or if I'm doing like no call, no shows or forgetting about appointments or just not showing up on some days, you, you gotta make sure you put the example out there. You gotta be the example, and when you're the example, then you have the authority and you have the uh, credibility to really establish the structure in your business that you want, and people will, will respect it. And if they don't, then it's okay to fire them. It's just part of the game. There's nothing right or wrong with it. It's strictly business, okay? So um, that's how you do it. Never attack them. Don't tell them that they're wrong or they're, they're this bad person that's just you know, can't get it together, just tell them that it's just not working together in harmony for, you know, the way I run my business and my structure. Maybe you need another type of barber that will kind of be more flexible with the way, you know, the service that you need and the way you need to get it delivered to you. So, uh, so that's it. That's all I have for today. So um, take those things in consideration. And if you're a new barber, make sure you put this structure in place early and you, and you attract the clients that fall in line with your business structure, your lifestyle, and the way you want to run your business. And you'll be much more happier and you'll have much more enjoyment in cutting hair and being in this barber industry.